Hello Art Beaters, Becky here with a new video and I hope you enjoy. If you want to keep up to date on all things Art Beads, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel right now. Enjoy! Hello Art Beaters, welcome! Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm Becky with ArtBeads.com if you're new here and we have lots of fun and exciting things to talk about today. If you are looking for um, some jewelry inspiration, to see some pretty beads, uh, to learn more about how to make jewelry, you are in the right place. So um, I have a lot of inspiring things to share with you today. Um, someone asked if we could show how to use metal hole punches. So I'm gonna be showing you how to use our various metal hole punches with uh, metal charms and pendants, like the ones from Tierra Cast, and also some nice brass patina options as well. Um, so I'll be showing you how to do that. So these are our metal hole punch tools, um, and they come in a couple different uh, styles. You can get them like where they look like pliers, um, and they come in a few different sizes. These are the 1.8 millimeter hole punch. So the hole that you're going to make with that tool is going to be 1.8 millimeter in diameter. Uh, I think this one comes in 1.5 and 1.25 millimeter as well. And then this one is a twist one. So it's got this opening where you put your... Uh, your item that you're going to hole punch and then you twist down and this one i believe is it makes 1.5 millimeter uh holes on one side and two millimeter holes on the other side so um this one is going to be great for some of that thinner metal and then this one is going to be great for thicker metal that's harder to punch through with the pliers so metal hole punches are great for items, especially from tear cast. Um, tear cast items are pewter, so they are soft enough to punch through. So um, great if you want to just add more dangles, uh, make a link out of your pieces, your charms and pendants. Uh, these earrings, we punched a hole in the bottom to add a little charm dangle. And we did the same for these earrings as well. We turned that circular tiara cast piece into a link by punching a hole at the bottom and adding this gorgeous Swarovski drop. Isn't that fabulous? What a statement. <laughs> so it's really easy to do. Um, this technique works great. Like, as I said, with the tiara cast pewter, it also is going to work well with brass pieces like this because, um, these are really lightweight, um, so easy to punch through. I've also got some patina ones here that will work nicely. Um, another thing I wanted to mention, you do not want to hole punch anything with an enamel. So um, anything from Guardian Beads, you're not going to want to hole punch because it has that enamel glaze over it. You could crack the enamel and you wouldn't want to do that because those pieces are so beautiful. So um, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to use these uh, tools when you're doing some hole punching. So I thought this was a really beautiful shape. Um, I would love to add a little dangle to the bottom. Um, so let's see if these pliers are going to work for that. So I've got it lined up nicely and I'm just going to give it a good squeeze. And I think that went through just fine. And then you take it off. And taking it off, you're going to want to make sure you get that out of there all the way. And then I've got a hole there. And it looks like sometimes you might have to ream these holes to get that extra metal out. Um, just use your little uh, file set or do another punch to clear it. I just did another punch and I've got a beautiful hole there. So now I can add a little dangle, turn this into a link. Uh, so easy. So that's really easy to use. Um, if your metal is thicker and you need to use this, this one is really easy to use as well. So I'm just going to insert this piece I really like this shell. You could potentially put a hole like between each ridge on this shell um, and make some fringe, some mermaid fringe earrings. Ooh, I might have to do that. Um, so you're gonna just screw, um, twist this up so you have enough clearance to get your charm in there. And I wanna make sure this is lined up where I want it, okay. So I've got my charm in there, my pendant in there. Uh, make sure it's lined up, and then you just twist down. It's so easy, um, and I think I've cleared it because it's kind of wiggling. 
So then you just twist it back up. Lefty loosey, righty tighty, right? <laughs> Let's see if I did it. Yep, I've got a hole in there. So super easy to use our metal hole punches um, to turn anything uh, from tear cast pretty much into a chandelier, into a link, uh, give you more room for a dangle. And I did want to make uh, some earrings with these little brass um, ovals. I think these would make some really beautiful earrings. So I wanted to show you how quickly that can be done. So it has a hole up top already. Let's add a hole to the bottom with our plier hole punches. And I've got that centered and lined up pretty nicely. Punch. And then get it off of the plier. That's the tricky part. Oh yeah, it made a really nice hole there. So with those, I want to make some earrings. So I've got some ear wires here. So all I need to do is open that up. Da, da, da. Add that to the top. Close it, and then that's ready to go. Um, so we've got the top, and then I wanted to add this cute little drop because I think that would be so cute. But I also want to add one of these uh, fire polished beads. And again, I have links to everything you see here in the video description. We also have a wonderful photo a uh, step-by-step tutorial for using uh, metal hole punches so check that out as well so i'm going to add this little fire polished bead to an eye pin and then i'm going to make a wrapped loop at the top with my chain nose pliers and my round nose pliers and then do a wrap Wrap, wrap, wrap. <laughs> Do you guys prefer making wrapped loops or simple loops? What is your preferred technique? Uh, I really like uh, wrapped loops because they just seem more secure. They're not going to come um, undone as easily as a wrapped loop, as a simple loop. Uh, so I just like those for the security. That's always nice. All right. Let's open the loop at the bottom to attach it to the punched hole that we created. And we might need a jump ring for that. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're going to need a jump ring for that. So we'll close that back up and add a jump ring. Now I'm going to need two chain nose pliers here. Wrapped loops, of course. You guys like wrapped loops? Yeah, let me know in the comments. What do you prefer, wrapped loops or simple loops? What's your, what's your go-to? All right. I might need bigger jump rings, actually. Oh, there we go. We'll make it work. <laughs> okay, so we've got our little dangle attached. So cute. And then I want to add um, this melon drop here. I love this. And I think it looks really good with the patina. So we will make that a wrapped loop at the top. There's something so relaxing about making jewelry. It's just so fun. I typically like to have nice relaxing music on when I'm making uh, jewelry just because it gets the creativity flowing a little better. Oh, not my best wrapped loop, but it'll work. <laughs> Practice makes perfect with these wrapped loops, am I right? Okay, so we've got a wrapped loop there and I'm going to use another jump ring to attach it to my earring. Yes, uh, gotta gotta have nice uniform wrapped loops. Attach that to a jump ring and attach that to the jump ring. <laughs> yes, they are more secure, those wrapped loops. All right, to make sure our jump ring is closed nicely. Whoops, oh my goodness, everything went flying. <laughs> Let's get another uh, jump ring there. You guys ever have beads go flying when you're working? It happens to me quite frequently. 
and then you find you find little forgotten treasures um, in your carpet later. <laughs> All right, there we go. There, that's pretty. So really cute. So that whole punch allows you to add um, a nice little dangle to the bottom of your earrings. These would be super cute um, as earrings just by themselves, but adding that dangle I think adds a little bit more. So yeah, don't be afraid to try our hole punch pliers. They um, are really great for punching hole in the brass and in some tiara cast pewter components, and we do have those different styles. These are great for that lighter, thinner metal. Um, and these are great for those heavier metals. Or if you have pain in your hand from gripping something like this, this is going to be easier on your hand for sure. So check out those uh, punch, punch, hole punch pliers. Um, I've got links in the video description uh, to both of them and the different sizes that we have in um in our uh, on our website, artbeads.com. I did not put this patina on myself. These come with the patina on. If you wanted to do your own patina on these, you certainly could. Um, so all kinds of different ways you could uh, use those hole punch pliers. Uh, thank you for all your nice comments and for tuning in. Uh, make sure to let us know what else you would like to see um, in the comments. I love hearing your feedback and that's really helpful for us to know what you guys want to see. We want to make sure that this is all helpful to you in your jewelry making journey. Um, and thank you so much. I will see you guys next time. Remember, we go live on Facebook every Thursday. 10 a.m. Pacific time. So I will see you next time. Bye!